Early in the 1960s, George Devine, director of the Royal Court Theatre in London, had an idea. I'm asking novelists to write plays. Isn't that like asking Trappist monks to sing Nellie Dean? Look at the British Theatre. Ninety percent of the plays are full of sentimental romance, creaking coincidences, and butlers. Well, I'm not likely to trouble you with butlers. So, what do you say? Well, I say, are you sure you're right about novelists? We're solitary, rambling, untidy animals. We never get to the point. Usually because we don't know what the point is. Your audience could be hanging around here for days, even weeks. Forget about the point. Write a few jokes, make us laugh. Well, there's nothing funny about jokes, George. How else can I persuade you? Well, is it possible that money could form part of this transaction? Of course, we'll commission you. Really? It's the usual arrangement. Because I've been teaching now since the late 1930s. I'm 20 years away from my pension and 20 minutes away from terminal delirium. Good to see the Arts Council of Great Britain. I can offer you cash up front. Cash up front? Yes, the phrase has a harmonious ring. All right. Um, can you imagine a family, the father, a self-lacerating widower with a pack of loud and embarrassing sons and a single heroic daughter, all haunted by the ghost of the dead mother, the usual May Day parade of our more twitching neuroses? Can you imagine such a thing? Can you? Yes, I can imagine little else. But is it worth cash up front? Certainly. Why not? Huh? Give me excess of it that surfeiting the appetite may sicken and so die. Oh, I shouldn't bank on the excess. <laughs>